Hi guys, sorry I haven't posted any videos for, for a while. Um, we've just come to the end of the wet season here in Darwin. Um, there's been a lot of rain obviously through that period. Um, anyway, we're into the dry season now. So I can get back up to that boat, get some work done um, and make some real progress. And hopefully make some more videos. So one of the last things I did at the end of last year was to fabricate the uh, cabin side port light box frames. Um, so this video is about giving everyone some idea of the process I used to, to make the box frames themselves. What I did initially to create the outer framework of the box frames is I cut strips of steel from plate um, and then to create the inner frame or the inner bead if you like for the port light to sit into, um, sit against, I cut those rings out of uh, flat bits of steel again using a plasma cutter. So you can see on, on this uh, part of the video I'd already marked out the shape and drilled some pilot holes to start my cut and, uh, and from that point I put them on the bench and cut the rings out. And the, the purpose of these rings is they become the inner bead that the port lights actually will sit against. Um, if you can imagine this was the side of a fiberglass hull, there'd, there'd need to be some depth for the actual port light to, to recess into. So I, I managed to do that by creating these rings and insetting them about 15mm from the outside edge of the frame. Um, cutting them out was, was a not, no, not too difficult a process, it didn't take very long um, and, and to get a nice finish. So here I'm just cutting out the corners, getting ready to uh, place these rings on the bench and start to form the outer body of the box frames around them. And in the next few clips I will show you how that process worked. I've actually uh, manufactured four of these box frames because I've got two cabin port lights uh, each side of the cabin um, and so the process was to make these rings up first. The way I assembled the parts for these frames was, was fairly basic and simple. Um, the outer strips of steel that I, I cut to make the, the outside frame um, or the outside wall of the box frame um, I just marked a, a line all the way down 15 million from the edge and then I clamped the inner ring that you can see on the bench or in the vise there, clamped that in the vise and then I just slowly bend the plate around using that 15mm mark as a guide and put tack welds and then just gently pull the frame around or the outer part of the frame around and tack weld it as you can see in these clips here. It, it's a very simple fairly basic process and, and as long as I keep the the, the black line I've got drawn on the outer part of the of the frame, as long as I keep that lined up with the edge of the inner uh, seal, if you want to call it that, um, you can see that putting them together was fairly straightforward. One thing I did do that I found it made a bit easier is I used this clamp that you can see in this, this part of the clip. When I get to the corner of the inner ring or seal and I'm trying to form that outer plate around it, I found that by pulling it tight and then clamping it and putting the tack welds on the inside, that gave me um, a real close fit so when I do weld the inside up I don't get big ugly gaps and any shrinkage in the welds didn't tend to pull the outside of the frame in or deform it and, and that's what I was after, I wanted to keep it nice and neat and tidy without deforming it too much and obviously you, you need that port light to fit into that box frame and any any major deformation from welding or from welding up big gaps would make that process more difficult but all four of them went really well and as you can see I'm welding the inner the back side of that inner ring in, in position now and the overall shape and uh, dimensions of these box frames came out quite well so at the end of the day I was very pleased with them the next thing I did once I would welded up the inner seal from the inside um, where the two ends of the outer part of the frame meet I just had to run a weld across that to seal that off um, and from there I just used the grinder obviously to tidy it up and make it flat and flush. 
when you're welding up all these sections like this even using a good quality MIG welder um, you still get a fair bit of spatter and a, and a little bit of mess around the welds so one of the final things I did was, was just flip that over and I went round the inside with a die grinder with a cutting wheel and just cleaned up any of the lumps of spatter and little spikes of weld that, that might have snagged things or got in the way and just generally tied it, tied it up and that's just good practice to prevent yourself from getting any cuts or abrasions when you're handling the, the structure later on. Here you can see I'm just finishing off tightening up the butt well between the two ends of that outer part of the framework. Just tied it up so it's nice and flush. Um, again that's got to fit through the side of the cabin wall so I don't want it snagging and getting in the way too much. And then final steps for that part of the process is I just ran over the outside again with a die grinder and a, and a fine cutting disc tied to the edges. Um, some people might think that's a waste of time or you know unnecessary but I think it's good practice and it's something I just like to do to, to kind of complete things. Anyway I uh, hope you enjoyed part one of this video. Uh, if you did please subscribe to the channel and share with all your friends um, and I'll catch you in part two of the video. Thanks very much.